Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this video is going to be about my favorite inexpensive cosmetics brushes. Yes, I have quite a bit. No, they're not all from e.l.f. So let's just get started. So getting started with eye brushes, I figured there's no better place to begin than starting out with my favorite shader brush. And this puppy is only a dollar. Yes, okay, this one is from e.l.f., okay? It's from e.l.f. But um, this is the e.l.f. Essential Line um, Eyeshadow Brush. And if you can see, it looks like this. I love this puppy because you see how it's really like thin and then it's flat. It's a, you know, your standard shader brush. It's so nicely dense you know it's very densely packed so it's really good for packing on that color all over the lid I love it only a buck you can't go wrong it hasn't shed on me I've washed it tons of times I've had it for a while so I've washed it quite a bit and it's done a really good job so long as you know how to properly wash your brushes and hang them upside down to dry so that the water doesn't get up in the ferrule then you should be good your brushes will probably outlast you so sticking along with the e.l.f. trend I started out with, another eye brush I've really been loving from e.l.f., I've had it for quite a while, um, is the Eye Crease Brush. This is again from their Essentials line, so this brush was only $1. And um, it does a great job at applying color to the crease, and you know, it's, it's a bit small, so it's good for precision work on the eye. If you really wanna do some precision work in the crease, um, you know, like say for example, you're doing a cut crease look or whatever, this is actually really good to smudge out, um, you know, that crease color. It's also good because it's so small, it's also really good to smudge out like your liner or um, your eyeshadow underneath your eye. So yeah, I love this one. Another eye brush from e.l.f. is from the old e.l.f. mineral brush line and unfortunately they don't sell this particular line of brushes anymore at e.l.f. and I have absolutely no idea why. I lucked out and I happened to get all of the brushes from that line before they stopped selling them but my favorite is the e.l.f. blending eye brush and it looks like this and you know it's from the mineral line so it has that bamboo handle and the black ferrule super super soft and do you see how it's got a tapered cut at the top if you can see that and excuse this dirtiness right here because I use mine today so it's a little dirty yeah really great at blending your eyeshadow and what I really like to use it for is dipping it just ever so slightly in you know a complimenting color or you know just a warm-up color right here on the brow bone if any of you watch any of Emily Noel 83's tutorial videos, you'll know that that nice little pop of warm color right there on the brow bone. Yeah, it's off the chain. Love this brush for that. The next eye brush is the Coastal Sense Pro Blending Fluff and it looks like this. Now this brush is believed to be a pretty good dupe for the MAC 217 and if any of you guys watch YouTube beauty videos you know what a MAC 217 looks like okay I have one 50 million people have one it's just a really great multi-purpose multi-use brush and however it, you know it's MAC and so of course you, you know it's gonna cost a little bit you know what I mean a little, a little some, some almost $30 for one brush it's kind of ridiculous this actually does a really really good job at doing many of the same tasks that a 217 does um, would I say that it's an exact dupe no it's not an exact dupe however it is incredibly comparable and when you consider the price difference because I do believe on Coastal Sense this is about four dollars and change whereas a MAC 217 is like 20 something dollars I think but um, yeah so there's a huge price difference and so you know I won't feel bad if I go through a lot of these versus going through a lot of 217s you know what I mean I've washed it quite a few times I haven't had any problems with shedding um, pretty well made I mean the ferrule is very well attached to the handle it does have a Mac-esque type of look to it with the silver ferrule and black handle and then white bristles it does look a lot like a 217 and in many ways it performs a lot like a 217 so if you have been eyeballing a 217 and you just haven't gotten one yet or maybe you had your 217 for a really really long time and you think that you need to replace it but you don't want to shell out all the money then 
Definitely check out Coastal Scents. This is again the pro blending fluff and regularly priced it's about $4.50 or maybe $5.25. Somewhere in that range um, between $4.50 and like $5.50. It's very inexpensive and it does the job. It does the same kind of work a 217 does, so I like it. Another eye brush from Coastal Scents that I absolutely love is this puppy right here. This is their um, tapered blending brush, I do believe. And this sucker, if you see like how big this is, I mean, look at it in comparison to my eye. You see how big that is? I don't use this for eyeshadow. Um, what I use this for is to apply maybe like my Ben Nye banana powder like underneath the eye. It's really good at applying or, you know, setting powder underneath the eye or in specific areas on the face. You can even use it to pinpoint highlighter, maybe just right around this area on the face. It works very well with that. This is a natural hair brush, and so I wouldn't recommend using this with any cream or liquid products, but for powder products, it works beautifully. Last eye brush, this is the Lowell Cornell Soft Comfort Spotter Brush, and you can't see it from back here, but if I go closer to the camera there, can you see how itty bitty teensy weeny, no yellow polka dot bikini though, this sucker is the most fine pointed liner brush I have personally ever seen. And it works beautifully on cream liners, um, gel liners, liquid liners. This brush is amazing at giving a really nice, thin, defined line, and I love it. Okay, so what do I use to beat that face? All right, let's get into the face brushes. First brush is this angled blush brush, I do believe it is. It is more like an angled kabuki brush because it's so incredibly densely packed. Um, I got this from a set that I bought at Walmart. I do believe it's called the Essentials, Brush Essentials set or something like that. And it came with three other brushes and the entire set was only like $9.99. These brushes are made so very well and I love the fact that they're crazy inexpensive. You can buy this brush on its own. Um, I don't know the exact price of it on its own, um, but you you know the pack for $9.99 I mean you just can't go wrong with that and I do believe I featured uh, the pack of brushes in a prior video so check I will link that video like somewhere I don't know I don't know I'll link it like down below at the very least I'll link the video down below where I featured the brushes but this is just an amazing brush it is so nicely densely packed the bristles are incredibly soft the cut on it is so precise Okay, I mean, there's no like little jagged edges or anything like that where they kind of miss the cut. It's just so precise and so easy to work with. I use it for contouring. I use it to apply blush. If I wanted to, because of how dense it is, I could probably use it to kind of lightly blend out maybe a liquid foundation. Um, it is a synthetic hair, so it's safe for liquid and cream products, but uh, so far I've only been using it for bronzer and blush and I absolutely love it. Next is the e.l.f. Studio Line Fan Brush and here it is in all its glory up close. It is a fairly thin fan brush. Um, all black synthetic fibers, black ferrule, black handle. Um, all of these e.l.f. Studio Line brushes retail for $3. It doesn't matter if you get it from eyeslipsface.com or from Target or wherever you can find e.l.f. I think some Kmarts have e.l.f. as well. Um, it's gonna be three bucks unless you find it at some special sale. A lot of people look at this brush and they're like, what the hell do I use that for? What I use this brush for is a couple of things. If I want to apply a very light application of maybe a shimmery highlight to my cheekbone, I use the brush for that. I also use the brush to swipe away any fallout that may have occurred when I was um, applying my eyeshadow like powder eyeshadow sometimes you'll get the fallout and you know you can just easily knock it off it just works really great you know for that I wouldn't say that this is like the best fan brush in the world simply because it is so thin there are companies out there that make much thicker and fluffier fan brushes which I mean would be able to do more on your face than just this one but for what it's worth I mean three bucks you know you really can't go wrong with this if you're just going to use it for those two purposes Ba bam Fat Daddy! Yeah, look how big the sucker is. Oh my god. This is the e.l.f. Studio Line Complexion Brush. This is, oh, this is like my favorite brush from e.l.f. Period. I use it to apply my setting powder, like I'll swirl it in my MAC MSF Natural and just tap it all over my face. It's good for that. If you want, you can use it to apply like 
all over face warm up bronzer not necessarily contour but you know maybe just a light face warm up and um yeah I mean you can even use it to apply like blush if you want to I mean if it fits your face my uh, my cheek uh-uh look at that look at that right there so I mainly use it to apply my setting powder and I love it all right pixie woo samantha chapman yes 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 everybody knows about real techniques it's just the bomb diggity.com up until recently i think you could only get real techniques at ulta stores but i'm hearing through the grapevine that now you can find real techniques on um walmart online and some target stores i do believe i don't know i may be wrong i may be lying i don't know but that's what i heard heard so I'm super excited about that because I really really do like this line of brushes they have so many different brushes for so many different purposes and they're all made very well um, synthetic fibers and incredibly soft bristles I mean just love these brushes well not that long ago they came out with a um, like like a dual fiber line it was like this kit dual fiber kit of brushes and it came with three different brushes you got the eye brush and then you got the um dual fiber uh blush brush or face brush and then you got this baby right here this is the dual fiber contour brush super soft and these dual fiber brushes are really great for light application of product um, you know you're not gonna get a lot of product on these because of the fact that there's kind of a thinning there of the brushes if you see where the black brushes meet with the white brushes it's thinned out not very dense at all if you can see me squeezing that down to a thin point this dual fiber contour brush I don't necessarily use it for contouring even though I know I could Okay, I may do that in the near future. All right, stay tuned. I use it mainly to apply a light application of my highlighter right here, right here, right around here. Yeah, baby, works great for that. Real Techniques Blush Brush. You need this brush in your life. Look at the precise dome cut of this brush it is so perfectly cut I love the fact that it has that rounded edge up here oh my goodness it helps to blend blush and um, bronzer in together beautifully I love it super duper soft as with all the real techniques brushes I found that these synthetic fibers are incredibly soft oh my god like I can do this all day it, this is a very popular brush I've only seen it at Ulta and so yeah I've washed it quite a few times since I've had it and I've had it for a while so again no shedding whatsoever I don't see me having to replace this brush anytime in the near future it just it washes beautifully I mean it washes clean many of these brushes do as a matter of fact um, they wash really really clean and I love it but the only thing the only hang up I have about this brush is you see the bottom of it you see how just wide that is it's just it doesn't fit in my brush holder not in my brush roll my little travel brush roll it doesn't fit in the holder that I have on my little makeup vanity it just doesn't fit so it stands on its own but I just you know I get nervous I'm like oh I don't want you to fall over oh my god you know um so I'm constantly trying to find new ways to store this I don't know but other than that this brush is absolutely positively fantastic and like I said you need it in your life this is like the best blush brush ever That it's almost sweater weather this is a thin sweater though it's really thin you know just for the slightly chilly days you know not not the not the oh my god it's brick outside no it's the slightly chilly days you know today the high was only about 70 so yeah I decided to throw this on I got excited y'all I got real excited I was like oh, it's cool enough to wear a thin sweater yeah Thin sweater time, thin sweater time, thin sweater time. <laughs> okay.